Living in Newfoundland, you get a, a unique opportunity to examine a small-scale, fundamentally rural kind of environment where there's a tremendous amount of conflict avoidance. When you know the cultural background here, it's no surprise at all to see how low the homicide rates are, close to zero. Corporal Baker, I'm just back from a trip to Alabama, deep south, heavy violence, extreme uh, aggression and high homicide rates. This area looks much the same to me. We've got uh, chronic unemployment, quite a bit of poverty, a rural, perhaps in some cases uneducated population, a lot of firearms, firearms in virtually every house. I assume this is a pretty violent neighborhood, is it? Well, sir, we have our problems, but uh, as you described, it is uh, far from reality in our little communities here in the east coast of Newfoundland. I'm a rough kind of character. Somebody says something that really makes me angry. But in Newfoundland, I'm far less likely to pick up a rifle and start plugging Clyde. This society reached its present form in the middle of the 19th century, and uh, there was no court system, there were no police, there were no systems of formal social control, but people devised their own informal methods of maintaining control and avoiding conflict, and it worked. Backbiting, ostracism, gossip, ridicule, these were the mechanisms with which people maintain social order. Another level in traditional Newfoundland society has been the most interesting system where many social encounters have win-win uh, consequences. You know, in our kind of world, uh, a salesman preys on a, on a customer, and the salesman wins, the customer loses. Occasionally, it's the other way around, but it's, it's win-lose. But in traditional Newfoundland, it's, it can be a win-win situation. One of the best known examples is, is the boat builder in the, uh, literature. These are cra local craftsmen who will build a boat. And there's this peculiar custom in Newfoundland where haggling here goes backwards. Rather than trying to get the most money you can get out of it, you haggle backwards, which is one of the reasons that Newfoundlanders had this uh, reputation for being odd. The, the, the procedure there has always been that the boat is finished, the customer goes to look at the boat. Both of them know it's an excellent boat, and both of them know it's worth, say, $100. Uh, but the boat builder will say, look, I don't, this is a problem with this boat. I didn't do as good a job as I normally do. I don't like the way the varnish came out. I don't like the cut of this. Uh, I, I think it's 75 is more than it's worth. And then the boat builder, in order to show his generosity of spirit, his appreciation of fine things, then the, the customer has to say, oh, no, 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 it's worth 125, maybe 150 minimum. This is a superb boat. Then they haggle down to up and down to back to the $100, which is what, what they both knew what it was worth in the first place. But in this case, it's not a win-lose situation. Here, both parties have demonstrated their generosity, their perception, and their n knowingness. Both parties walk away from the transaction uh, feeling honored and with dignity. Newfoundland's bizarrely low homicide rate, rivaling the lowest rates that have ever been recorded, stems partly from the British heritage of British notions of civility and appropriate behavior, partially from a history in which the majority of people were working in the same industry as social equals and learned a kind of cohesiveness and solidarity and mutual respect, and uh, partly just from this culture that denigrates uh, open displays of aggressivity.